the recently concluded school year challenged our Filipino spirit, resilient, positive, and united amid the crisis. The pandemic had shaken our department to the core, but education had to continue, and thus, BELCP was born. Is the major response and commitment of our department in protecting the health, safety, and well-being of learners, teachers, and personnel. In this context, the Kalumboyan Elementary School had marched forward and is now ready for the BELCP assessment. Our primary concern is how to deliver instruction to our learners and since all the small person of the studentry had gadgets and connectivity, the modular distance learning was the modality that the school had adopted. Modular distance learning entails reproduction of modules, provision of learning materials, monitoring of learners through scheduled home visitation and online for those who had access. For the furtherance of learning, the Anakosa Wutko program was carried out and so was the ELITE program which is the Reading Recovery Program of the SSE-SDO. Assessment of learning took a toll on both teachers and learners but we managed to do it by online and face-to-face. -face. Sense of urgency in times of need was best exemplified when donations from stakeholders arrived at Columboyan Elementary School School supplies, alcohol dispensers, and books for kids were just some of the donated items received. The biggest challenge the school had to face was the non-availability of gadgets and connectivity. Issues like boredom, the inability of parents to teach their kids, time management had to be dealt with. To overcome these challenges, the Columboyan Elementary School implemented measures that would help teachers, parents, and learners adjust better to new modes of learning amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Summative tests using rubrics were used to assess learning. For the school personnel, Columboyan Elementary School adopted the alternative work arrangement set forth by the Office of the President and IATF. For the school and community to have stronger collaboration, parents were oriented on their role after the PTA election. All the standard health protocol issued by the IATF was observed during the election. Lastly is the provision of support funds from Dep and Central Office and others and the latest of which is the receipt of the SIM cards with the connectivity load that we will be using in the next school year. As for the BELCP plan, the Columboyan Elementary School plans to do the following. Enrollment procedure is through online platform. Parents will fill up Google Forms or they can use FB Messenger. For those who don't have access, they can get the enrollment form at the Barangay Hall which will serve as a drop-off point. Model or modular and electronic learning shall be used as the learning modality just like last year. strategy, online classes and home visitation are still the two most possible ways to delivering instruction. Readiness of learning materials is given an utmost priority. To be able to do this, our school had an inventory of all learning materials and kept them intact for the coming school year. Classrooms and other school facilities will undergo quality assurance for the safety of everyone. Module distribution and retrieval procedures to parents will be a lot easier for the coming school year as they were already familiar with this. Still, social distancing and other health protocol will be strictly observed. 
School personnel have always been ready and sufficient. There is also an availability of support personnel to help maintain the upkeep of the school. As for the vaccination plan, of the 21 personnel, 19 have registered and are just waiting for the vaccination schedule. The other two have yet to decide and consider their health issues. Should there be a COVID-19 transmission in the area of responsibility, the school will strictly follow the well-coordinated structure designed by the IATF and the DOH for handling such cases. Instructional assistance to parents will be regularly. Each teacher creates a group chat wherewith parents can use and ask teachers for any instructional assistance. Partnership with the community and stakeholders shall be strengthened more than ever for the welfare of the learners. The physical facility of the school will get better in time. All will be put in place the moment school opens. Vacation will be used to prepare the school ground, classrooms, and other school areas. As for the programs, projects, and activities, the school will just continue rearing the PPAs that were instituted last school year. To wit, Wow Cacao, Lian Separalan, SBFP, Project Share as part of the Elite Program and other programs initiated by the school. Thank you.